Hi everybody, I'm Glenn Deemer, and welcome to This Week in College Football History. It's November 29th, 1996, and it's a showdown in the Big 12. Number five, Colorado, plays at number four, Nebraska, with Hall of Fame head coach Tom Osborne. Both teams undefeated in conference play with 7-0 records. On the line, the North title and a berth in the first ever Big 12 championship game. It's a rainy, chilly day in Lincoln, Nebraska. Time to see which side can overcome the elements. Coy Detmer has Colorado moving early, fires to Chris Anderson for 15 yards. Jeremy Aldridge has to come in for a 45-yard field goal. It bounces off the crossbar and is good. 3-0 Buffaloes. Scott Frost, running the option for Nebraska, pitches to Amon Green. He fumbles and Colorado recovers at the 35. It leads to another Aldridge field goal, this one from 40 yards out, and it's 6-0. The Buffaloes are backed up in their own territory now, and Detmer has it tipped. Jay Foreman is there for the interception. He goes 21 yards for the touchdown, and Nebraska now leads 7-6 after one quarter. The Cornhuskers start the second quarter with a field goal attempt, but it's a fake, and John Vedro runs for the first down at the 10. They eventually do have to settle for a field goal and a 10-6 lead. D'Angelo Evans comes in to play tailback as Green is injured, and he finds a lane and runs 40 yards all the way down to the nine-yard line. Two plays later, it's Evans from seven yards out, touchdown, and it's 17 to six Cornhuskers at halftime. Third quarter, and Detmer gets pressure and takes off. 18 yards to the 46th of Nebraska. It leads to a field goal to make it 17-9 after three quarters. On to the final quarter, and Detmer is looking deep, and there is James Kidd. It's a 51-yard play before Kidd is down at the 28-yard line. But again, the Buffaloes have to settle for a field goal this time 27 yards by Aldridge, it is 17-12. Colorado needs to make something happen, and it does as Frost is sacked, the ball comes loose, and Matt Russell recovers at the 24. Detmer looking for the go-ahead score, but the pass is deflected, and Jamel Williams intercepts for Nebraska. That would be Colorado's last chance as Nebraska goes on to win 17-12 to win the Big 12 North. Nebraska would lose that inaugural Big 12 title game to Texas, but did go on to beat Virginia Tech in the Orange Bowl and finish 11-2. Colorado went on to beat Washington in the Holiday Bowl and finish 10-2. But the game they will all remember that season happened on this day, November 29, 1996. I'm Glenn Deemer, and thanks for watching This Week in College Football History, brought to you by the National Football Foundation.